My name is Jeremy Mathis, and I am, I own the place. Uh, me and Jared took over from our dad and his brother, who took over from our grandparents. So we're the third generation. The woodshed started with my granny unhappy with her job and too young to retire. 1984, my mother was out of work. She had quit the factory and didn't like it. She had a good friend named Clifford Cahoon and, and another lady named Zip and they decided that they would open a restaurant. I can remember Granny saying that the first day, we had no idea what we were doing. We ran out of all of the food at lunchtime, and it was a disaster. But, you know, you live and learn, and customers were faithful. We went run that way for about two years, and my dad had to have open heart surgery, so that left, my mom was over at the hospital with him, that left nobody but me to work, so, Phil come in on Saturday to help me out so I could get a day off. I'm Philip Mathis, I'm Mike's brother. That's what everybody called me, Mike's brother. My mom and dad started and Mike, after my dad wanted to retire, I started the woodshed with, with them working and then me and Mike took over in 1996. Hi, I'm Lisa, Phil's daughter. I started waitressing here when I was 18 years old. My pops kind of made me. Jeremy and Jared both know. Pops was here seven days a week and everything was just right. You just kind of remember a lot of heart and soul went into this place. I can remember Clifford making the first batch of burgoo down that hallway while they were still getting it all together. I guess I always thought it would be a possibility to own the woodshed. I remember when I was a kid, when they first opened it up, we moved back from Bristol, and I actually remember being in this building, uh, putting together chairs with a little screwdriver or whatever and I would play a lot, and I got troubled a lot, but I also learned how to work here. I sort of grew up here with uh, Jerome. Wilder and Junior, they, they, they raised me from 19 to now. That's my, uh, my second father, yes. He took care of me when, when nobody else around, man. When, uh, that's a good guy, he was a good guy to me. That's why I'm still here. Junior, I'm gonna tell y'all something, He's, he was the best. My name is Margaret Fields and I worked for the woodshed. I started here when I was 38 years old. I've worked the whole kitchen, the window, the middle. I even have wash dishes. My name is Marilyn Sanders, and I came to work part-time at the woodshed in November of 1987, and I worked here part-time for almost 23 years. I spent many, 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 many Saturdays with Phil. And then Mike and I, we were always working together on Friday nights. Um, Billy Joe and I worked together every Friday night for over 10 years. I'd never been a waitress before in my life, but Wilda, Granny, said it's just like taking care of a family. You just come in, find out what they want to eat, you be nice to them, smile and be friendly and you'll be fine. My favorite part of working there was the customers. They became part of my family. And uh, like Mike said, there were more friends than there were customers. That's true. Occasionally, we get a celebrity in here. We've had um, Bobby Knight, the IU basketball coach for all those years. We've had uh, a handful of Kentucky basketball players to come in. Uh, we've had the governor of Kentucky came one time, and George W. Bush. When George Bush came, I remember when Secret Service was coming in. It was uh, it was it was very very exciting. It was uh, it was a rush that was kind of hard to describe. There was the y'all. Bush it was excitement, but he came in, you know, and he sit right over there on, at table eight. Oh my goodness, I was so excited. I waited on him. He had barbecue pork, baked beans, salt, potato salad, and burgoo. He had a piece of coconut pie and a Diet Coke. He sat down at the table and talked with us as if he was one of our friends that we had known for years. The most significant thing to happen in my time at the Woodshed is COVID. COVID and the shutdown pretty much changed everything. It's the reason we have an outside waitress. My name's Elizabeth. Most of everybody knows me by Liz here. I've been working here for six years. I was the last person trained by Billy Joe and Mike. And then after that, the boys took over. And now they're like brothers that I never really wanted. 
I think the best answer for why we made it 40 years is just simply because we value our customers. We try to have a personal experience with you. This is a place where we watch Kentucky basketball together, where we where we just we do life together. And I think that's probably what did it. I think it's the family atmosphere. You care about the community. The people come in, they feel at home. They feel like they can come in and speak with you about anything that's going on. You have concerns for them. It is. It's a it's a family. A lot of loyal customers. We had, uh, had people come every day for lunch, come two or three, four times a week at night. <clears throat> Just real loyal customers. It wasn't them, we couldn't have made it. I love it. That's why I'm still, I'm, I'm still here. I've seen from the first day Mike hired me, I've seen the different faces come in. And as I'm growing older and I look at the people that's coming in, I see that they're older. And it's just, it's just been a thrill. We had a lot of good uh, customers that was very loyal to us. We put out a, a good plate lunch at a good price. And, it, and it's continued that way up until this day. We stacked it high and sold it cheap. That was our motto. We've been open 40 years, and I'm, I take a lot of pride in that, even though I'm a small part of the thing. I do want to say I genuinely appreciate our customers. That uh, I understand that we would have never made it this far without you. So when we say we care about you, I mean it. And when I say I appreciate you, when you check out, we mean that. My granny, she run a heck of a kitchen. That's where, I guess, I'll, I'll try not to get teary eyed. <laughs> That's where this place comes from, and they passed the legacy on and on, and they did a good job. <laughs>